Hello everybody, welcome to today's calculus mini lecture on how to create functions from real world examples and how to use such functions for optimization. Consider the following word problem. An open box with a square base should be constructed having a total surface area of 150 square units and a volume of 100 cubic units. Find the dimensions of the box. Now compare this to the word problem that might occur in a calculus course. An open box with a square base should be constructed having a total surface area of 150 square units. Find the dimensions of the box maximizing the volume. Just a few changes, but they make a lot of a difference. You may notice that fewer information is given in the calculus version. The volume restriction is missing. Instead, the words maximizing or minimizing will appear. In the algebra version, we have two variables, the length x of the base and the height h. We know that the total surface area is the sum of the base area x squared and four times the area of the sides x times h. And this sum is equal to 150. So we get the first equation x squared plus four times x times h equals 150. Moreover, we know that the volume x squared times h equals 100, so we get the second equation x squared times h equals 100. Two equations with two variables. That is about all we need to do our algebra method, which would be substitution method. In the calculus version, the volume is not known, therefore it must be a variable. Overall, we have three variables, x, h and the volume v. But we still only have two equations, x squared plus 4xh equals 150 and x squared times h equals v. Three variables, but only two equations. We will not be able to uniquely solve the system, but that is also not required. We have less restrictions, we have more freedom, we are free to make a choice. Only if you have a choice, you can maximize or minimize something. Obviously, we are most interested in the volume V. We need to make it as large as possible. But of course, we cannot just decide that it should equal, say, 1 billion. The volume we cannot decide, but just observe. We call such a variable the target variable. What we can decide is x, or maybe also h but not both, since they are interrelated. This is quite typical for such situations in Calculus 1, that we can choose just one variable. We call this the choice variable. We imagine that we can change it using a slider control. Playing with a slider control is really all we can do, but changing x will influence h, and indirectly this will also influence our target variable, which we intently watch on the display. What we need to find out is how our changes of the choice variable influence the target variable on the display. In other words, after defining the target variable and the choice variable, our first task is to find out how the target variable depends on the choice variable, to express the target variable in terms of the choice variable. In our case, to express volume V in terms of base length X. For this, we have to get rid of the other variable, h. We solve the first equation for h and get h equals 150 minus x squared divided by 4x. Then we substitute h in the second equation by this expression and get v equals x squared times 150 minus x squared divided by 4x, which is equal to 75 over 2 times x minus 1 fourth x cubed. We write already v of x to indicate that v is now a function of x. Let me just review the steps done so far briefly. You start with a description of the situation and of the task, what you want to maximize or minimize. Next you identify all your variables, all your equations and what the choice variable and what the target variable are. Check whether you have one equation less than variables. 
From these systems of equations, you work exactly as you would work in an algebra problem. You use substitution method, which means that repeatedly you solve one of the equations for one of the variables and then substitute this variable in all other equations by the corresponding expression equal to it. Just make sure in the calculus setting that the variables you eliminate are not choice or target variable, but rather any of the others. Eventually you will arrive at one equation in choice and target variable. You then have to solve it for the target variable and voila! Here is the target variable expressed in terms of the choice variable. Note that up to here no concept or tool from calculus is needed. This is just plain algebra. Only the second step, taking this function and finding out where the function achieves its maximum or minimum, requires calculus. If you don't know yet how to do this, stop here. For all others, I give a brief description how to finish in our example. We differentiate the function and get v prime of x equals 75 over 2 minus 3 fourths times x squared. Then we find all critical points, values x, where v prime of x is either not defined or equal to 0, which in our case results in 75 over 2 equals 3 fourths x squared, or x squared equals 50, or x equals square root of 50, which is about 7.1. For the height, we get h equals 150 minus 50 over 28.4, which is about 3.5. And for the volume, v of 7.1 equals about 176.8.